turn off all the lights and get ready to never sleep again. Can someone please try to decipher this phone conversation that happened moments before a murder by a Floridian? The strange conversation between what seems to be a woman and her grandson was found on a mobile phone in an investigation I worked on a while back. I'm a homicide detective, and the case details I cannot share on this platform. The case is closed, but I'm still trying to get answers on what was really going on here. The speech-to-text transcription of the call is provided here. Hello? Grandma? You all right? Are you there, honey? Yeah. How are you doing? Is everything okay? It's pretty late. Oh, sure. Everything's fine. I was just checking in on you, honey. Are you sure? You sound sick. Check your temperature. You might have a fever. Oh, I already did. And everything seems normal. I'm just wondering if it's something I ate, honey. I... To be honest, I guess I do feel a little under the weather today. And my knees and ankles are hurting. You took your meds? Honey, I'm 84 years old, but I still remember my damn medicine. I don't got the Alzheimer's yet. <laughs> All right, Grandma. <laughs> What's that, Grandma? Eh? Oh, uh, uh, what, honey? I thought you said something. Oh, uh, just a fussing at the cat, babe. Uh, Grandma, you okay? Fine, I just, uh, something broke loose. What do you mean, something broke loose? Uh, my ankle, honey. It's a oozing and shit. Grandma, what happened? Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, no worries, dear. He's cleaning it up. Grandma, I'm on my way, all right? Did you hurt yourself? Oh. Stay on the line. I'll be there in ten. Did you take your medicine? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, hi there, sweetie. Grandma, I'm still here. Everything okay? Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, look. There's Grandpa. He's right there in the doorway. What? Grandpa? What do you mean, Grandma? Yeah, come on over here, baby. Sit down next to me. Is there someone there, Grandma? Well, yeah, babe. It's Grandpa. He's in the doorway. He won't come sit with me. It's not Grandpa. Hang on. I'm calling the police. Stay on the line. Police? Why? Hey, hey, Grandpa. Come over, baby. You didn't tell me you were going to visit. Stay put. Grandma, the cops are on the way, and so am I. No! Grandpa, please don't go! Hang on, I'm almost there. We were gonna play his favorite game! Take the snake, climb the walls... Uh oh You've got to help me! He's biting me! He's biting my ankle! Deadly venom! I'm pulling in, hang on. Oh, the pus! Grandpa, stop! Stop! When the police arrived, the woman in question had died due to loss of blood from an ankle wound. No one was found. The man who made the call was not there, and neither was the supposed intruder. This is as much information that was allowed to be shared. I am trying to figure this out, and it baffles me, unlike any unsolved case I've investigated to this day. Edit. Autopsy report. As I've stated before, there is very limited information that I can share legally with you all. I dug up the old autopsy report of the old woman. Her prints found that she was named Tabitha Matson. She was 78 years old at the time of death. This doesn't add up with what was said during the phone call. I wonder if something could have been done to her that mixed up her age perception. Her cause of death, blood loss from a lacerated left ankle. Wound made from teeth, no saliva. Her body did have traces of metacopamide and digoxin and high doses of pain medication. It just seemed to be the usual drugs for an old woman. The pain meds used for the wound. Here is the crime scene report while I'm at it. Victim fell to the floor and struggled for some time with attacker on left ankle, biting. 
There were splatters of blood on the couch beside her and pools of it on the floor where she was found, tested to be her own. The entrance door had been tried with a key. The front of the key had broken off into the doorknob, obviously the grandson in a rush. Strangely enough, no prints were found of the grandsons, and there was no sign of where he could have gone after entering in such a hurry. Mobile iPhone found on the ground in the kitchen from which we traced the 911 call to. A second iPhone was found a few feet away from the victim's body, where we traced the original call to the first iPhone and were able to transcribe it. There was no sign of the supposed intruder. We hadn't much to go off of, and all the evidence was leading nowhere, so the case was closed and marked as unsolved. The woman had no living family members, except for the unnamed grandson. Greetings, spoils and ghouls. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. If you have a request or suggestion, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed this video, and remember to stay spooky.